Father, please help me deliver this message to do your will and to justify your word. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Got to be the interpretation. This got to be the real meaning of the parable. And this, of course, could apply to many people who have missions for Jesus that they might forget about their mission because they are caught up in temptation. So I really believe what I say. I have reason to say what I say. And it's bigger than life to me when I see the interpretation over the words of God. Because it's so much affecting me directly that this is clear. Okay, very, very clear to me. Where does it say to condemn, condemn, condemn? Because you feel like it. I wonder what you got in your closet. Now you've got people like um, my driver. Notice that in the video when I was giving the curses, look at the number of the I video. I did not name everybody. That six would ten AA six ten. But my gaver, he is really a thief. <clears throat> my gaver, no. Let's go to that. AA six ten. Yeah, Tamara's doing some funny stuff. AA six ten. Let's play it. Mother, please help me with this delivery. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now, <clears throat> we know that there's sublimitable messages all through the uh, television, to television, right? And I just want to show some of the sublimitable that I have caught. Now I'm the king of the swingers. Oh, the Jones will be happy. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. So here we got in uh, Obli, uh, um, I forget what they call this show, cartoon. Um, but um, he's lost in the jungle and the uh, orangutan and monkeys have uh, got his attention and they're trying to get something from him uh, so that they could be like you. Now, this is something little to me and we'll just show you this to uh, bring, you what's, bring you to uh, the attention that I'm trying to go. Actually, he forgot oh, to show this part in his here. video. That's it. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Still six ten at one forty three nine days ago. <laughs> Trying to be like you. Now, okay. This is what. So <clears throat> he's in an uproar. Jonathan Nolan is in an uproar because, oops, oh, what did I just do there? I goofed that up. But, anyways, um, because I'm stealing from somebody. And, uh, hey, 50. <laughs> 533. Yeah, it just happened to be a 533. Where are we? We're at the be What the heck happened here? Oh, there it is right, right here. Okay. So. Well, my computers are, are, are really screwed up lately. And uh, I don't Father, know what to do about it. There are many. I want to be like you. Out there, that A A five thirty three, and it was done six months ago. So, please tell me, how did I copy her? This is going to be good. 
this is going to be really good. Okay, so when we go back to Jonathan, um, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Out of distraint. Uh. Gavin knows that Kelly Barr made her latest video about Shock the Monkey. And Mike Giver is full of envy, like always, and he wanted to grab on it. Grab on to what? Make his own version of it. And so he, he made this video with the monkeys, and he, he wants people to, to be interested because he, he knows that, okay, everybody is talking about Chuck the Monkey right now over there. He's going to make a video about it. And this I is. Was talking about the monkeys really? being like uh, man is the reversal of, of the robots trying to it's be like, like man uh, my driver cannot really be inspired so he's using the inspiration from other people hmm. and then he, he said that Jonathan Flick stole his inspiration mm -hmm. you're turning but your own he heart upside down because he's a son of Satan <laughs> and I said he's safe, so I have to bear with it. How can a son of Satan be saved? You're so using me. I'm not even going to play that. I just wanted to show you. In a very I made a video about the monkeys. You're using me to send a message out that the sons of Satan can be saved. Can you show me that in in the Bible? Okay, the sons of the fallen angels cannot be saved. I, 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 this guy is such, he's fu so full of baloney. Um, full of shit. <laughs> yeah, I feel like playing that song again. I showed how... Oops. And there were different. I'm sorry. Thing that so these people are not really us, and um, and over depressed because people are flooded though. Because what Satan is doing is that he is looking at what God is doing and he's taking it by force and he's changing it to his own story. So, my gather, you did the same as Satan. No, you're doing it. And it's not the first time. It's like in my future, one of my past videos, I mean, um, the, uh, when you point a finger, there's three others pointing at you. And if you sit back long enough and listen to somebody, they show their lies. And you're showing your lies. Okay? Where did you hide your uh, computer keys? You, your S SUB uh, sticks? In your closet. Is that the closet that you're supposed to have with Jesus Christ? In your prayer closet? Was that your prayer closet? You're a sick boy. You're looking at our houses. You're thinking that we are lost. But everything that we bring by inspiration of God, you take and you try to get a spot over it. Really? When I do not agree with your teachings... And it was about you doing the uh, uh, revenge on the Sermon on the Web that we had met, saying that you would shut me up. And uh, it went on, oh, 15 minutes, I believe, one time on a video uh, uh, about me using my son, my deceased son, to get attention. When it's a part of my testimony. 
Okay? You're the one who has proven me right by you using reversal on me, just like Jonathan Kleck. Okay? And you and Jonathan Kleck are like the Hegelian dialect. Okay? You're, you, you oppose as opposite teams, but you're going for the same goal, to lie to people. Okay? That's what you do. You lie to people. Okay? You, how many people is there in the world? And do you think the Bible was written or put together for you and the people that you know? How arrogant is that? And then you pat people who comment up back uh, to you uh, saying that you're, yeah, you're this, you're that. And you pat them in the back saying, oh, yeah, look at this, look at that. Then saying, I'm stealing things from them. When... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, walk with me I had communicated with uh, uh, years ago giving her my stuff <laughs> it's, it's no wonder nobody wants you going through their doors okay you say this thing about when you were, happened to you when you were a child did you want it because I don't think, like you said, you're telling the whole story. Now, did it happen more than once? Because if it happened more at once, that tells me something. Okay, so what are you trying to say? What do you have in your closet? Limits family, so I believe that his real name was Mike Bush. And now you go on this because I have proof that I, John, when Jonathan Kleck hypnotized me, I told him the story about the uh, picture day, and I, it was grade four, I believe. <clears throat> and um, I was always a very shy pers uh, person, still am very bashful um but it was a picture day and the girls at uh recess uh chased me down well they, they came over to me and they kissed they started kissing me uh, pulled me to the ground and started kissing me and then i got up and uh ran away and they chased me and i and one guy named rob green um uh, was in the class. Uh, he would grab me and the girls would uh, kiss me. So I went home uh, uh, at lunch and asked uh, my dad if he would uh, help our... Did I leave from recess or, or go home for lunch? Because we just lived a block away. It was like two minutes uh, uh, to, to go to school. <clears throat> And I asked him to, uh, if he would fix me up for picture day because I didn't want to, you know, look like a mess on picture day. He had put burrow cream in my hair in the morning. And uh, I didn't have a comb with me or anything. And I'm like, uh, what, eight years old? <laughs> so um, that's the story. And why Jonathan used the name Mike is for you today to say he changed his name from Mike Bush. Okay. Oh, he's an adopted child and all. He got a whole story out of where. No proof of the story. But you believe it. Like you said, you believe what you say. Okay. Uh, um, I, I always question if, if Alzheimer's was about uh, people who lied all their life and they just couldn't remember uh, when they got older. They changed his name when he got adopted by his second father, Henri Kleck. And so they come up with the idea of Jonathan Kleck to match Jesus. I can't believe this. In Gematrio. And this is what I believe really happened. So from there, when he's putting... Um, Man... You should not be allowed to use computers. 
Oops. Pointing me on the phone and was saying to me that they want me to keep going and they want me to make me say things. They want me to say things. I don't think people could stop you from will, saying things. It will take effect, okay? So they want to cause me to speak. So there's the thing with can't do drought Leviathan with an hook or his tongue to make to speak or his tongue with a cord which do less us down. Don't you see what's happening? Yeah, I totally do. So you've got different type of hook. This one looks pretty much close to the one that is on his shirt. It's blue for water. There's the hook. There's the facade reason, but it's an upside down shirt. And then when he's showing his palm, you don't really see the stigmat. But he made another video. said in a video himself prick anybody that got a printing circular printer can stamp over their own hands it doesn't what happened to his hands is he hasn't worked for a while and he picked up a shovel and he got blisters on his hands that's what happened then he popped the blisters make themselves Jesus Christ. The name Jonathan Clegg, it's from his adopted father. <laughs> they figure something out to match 888 oh and the Gamma relates from the Dupont family and the next 911. Where am I? He's coming to show me. I got to go. Okay, my friend is. Uh, is coming to show me where I will have to do this effort to um, what the heck are you saying work you got to go find what they will not tell you but that's what's going on with uh, Mr. No Lion who's <laughs> like <clears throat> These people, they will say their name's no lion, but they lie. Jonathan Cluck turned the, the uh, uh, Fiddle Loom underwear or T-shirt or something around and it said uh, no lying. Okay. It didn't say no lying. That's just what he wanted to get out of it. <clears throat> because if you look at 100% uh, uh, nylon, turn it around. It doesn't read no lion. It's reversal they're using. Okay? Rather than when he says one eye's up and you're an angel and the other's in the pit. And that, no, that's your mind. Okay? You can't not serve two gods. They flip everything around. Reversal. Just like and he said that uh, in his other videos. Like, I, I, I don't even want to put any time into this guy anymore. Uh, if, if he shuts me up, it's because he shoots so much bullshit out of his uh, mouth. He can't prove any of this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> it started when I was, I uh, said I was drinking. Uh, I don't drink. <laughs> okay. I do not drink. Okay. I can if I want to, but it got boring. Uh, I, it just got boring to me. And I started attending schools. Um, <clears throat> But I had problems in schools because of my reading and writing. So, anyways, that's another story. Anyway, this Jonathan, no lion, and anybody who's following him and catering to his lies, okay? It's like wishing them Godspeed. And you know your Bible. So you know what that means. And thank you, Father, for the delivery. I do do it in your name. I do not want to condemn anybody. But this clown, and excuse me for using that, but 
it's probably the best way I can describe him is using your word to seduce an adulterous cousin. So he doesn't know your word. And I ask it in Jesus' name, through your promise, if you will, open his eyes and let him understand this is about salvation and there's no life after this that he can make better. There's no reincarnation. The way life is, is you have one soul. It was with the, the father. It followed Lucifer and fell. It got a chance for repentance to get back to the father or eternity without the Father. And that's what this salvation is all about. So I ask through your promise, if you ask in Jesus' name, it will be done, if it is to glorify the Father. This I pray in Jesus' name, amen.